hello good day everyone and you're welcome again to my channel i am joshua the designer and today i have come to give you a very short but uh, informative tutorial you know um it is amazing that at this level we have um some questions um in the hearts of certain people which is quite normal right as to AutoCAD and and how was not right and one of those questions is how to convert your drawings to PDF how to plot your AutoCAD drawings to PDF right so of many questions that we have pertaining to AutoCAD and all of these structural drawings right one of those that we'll be visiting now is how to convert your AutoCAD drawing to PDF or you can say how to plot your drawings to PDF right so I am Joshua the designer in case you're joining us for the first time and I will encourage that you please like our videos subscribe to this channel very important please subscribe to this channel and share our videos with someone that should get better in this regard right so it is very simple plotting a drawing from this interface as you see to a PDF file okay so what you want to do is to use your control P so using your control P would give you a pop-up like this and in a box right so it is in this box we want to do the major work right so what you want to do right now is to use a page setup but because we have not actually set up this before so i'm assuming that your own should also look like this saying that you have not we're assuming that you have not done anything like plotting your drawings before so if you have not done that you leave that right so we want to set a new printer or plotter right now i am using autocad 2020 right so for some other people who might be using another version so you would always find this on whatever version you're using dwg to pdf so that is what we want to print from dwg which is drawing to pdf right so after you might have done that you want to focus on your paper size so whatever paper size that you want you will fix so i want to fix iso a4 210 by 297 right so and also i want to change this plot style table right so if you want to use colored printing if you want your colors to be shown in your printout you use none if you want your color to be hidden such that your printout will be black and white you use monochrome monochrome so that's monochrome right so whatever it is that suits you just put it right now so you might want to fit your drawing to paper or not fit it but it's best to fit your drawing to paper now you want to make it portrait or you want to make it landscape so however it suits you you can do that now you want to also center the plot you want to center the plot and then um, also this one is the plot area this is where we wish to show um which area we want to print so you click window now clicking window means that you want to show to autocad where what portion of the drawing you want to print so you click this edge and um, the other edge so press ok then you can preview now did you see so this is my preview then after that you have preview you can either go back and you go back by pressing escape right and pressing ok since you know how it looks like then you select the target folder or that target location whatever it is so if you want to print on desktop you just put maybe this is the name that you want my own for bed so i just save 
now I have my PDF ready very simple now this is one way of going by that one so going back to control P having done it before so if you have made the settings once you can repeat the settings as much as possible so when you come to page setup you can use previous plot means the previous plot settings and all of the configuration will be there so you can preview your job and you find it there instead of pressing escape like i did the other time before i printed to pdf you just right click on this page and click plot and that will be exactly what we have very simple so in case you do not get any of those steps that i've just shown to you can you please use the comment section as i'll be there to answer to every of your comments i am joshua the designer please do not forget to subscribe to like our videos and to share to as many that should get better in this regard thank you we'll see you in the next tutorial Bye.